Good evening. Welcome to my home on the web. A lot of things exploding outside tonight here in the United States of America. It is July 3rd, 2016, and despite tomorrow being a national holiday, everyone is celebrating on the Sunday, not the Monday. What better occasion than a, a Sunday and a close holiday? Oh well, did you know that the Declaration of Independence was not actually signed on July 4th, 1776? It was, uh, it was on July 2nd, 1776 that the committee reached a decision to declare independence from Britain. Over the next 48 hours, Thomas Jefferson, with help from his buddies Benjamin Franklin and uh, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, that's a joke, not Abraham Lincoln, uh, wrote the Declaration of Independence and received the committee's approval of the semantics and uh, word choice and ideas and concepts therein on July 4th, 1776. In the next two days, the document was typeset, printed, and sent off for distribution. As the document, itself a declaration, explicitly mentions the undersigned, as in people who have signed it as a document, it was not actually a declaration until it was signed. And it's ridiculous to think that this document would be written and then signed by all of the people necessary to sign it in time for July 4th, if it was written on July 4th. So it was distributed, many people read it, and they all decided they would read it and uh, that they all agreed and they would sign it and therefore, over the next few weeks, a meeting place was determined. That is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, and it was on August 2nd, 1776, that the Declaration of Independence was signed, therefore fulfilling itself as a declaration to the letter of its own words. So, this information was presented to me very early in the school year by uh, an old military man who was teaching us social studies and he presented it in the most condescending manner. I bet your dad told you they signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. Well, they didn't. Your daddy is wrong. You're wrong and you're also a maggot, you know? He called people maggots a lot. It's such a gross word. Get mad about your independence. But what sticks with me about that even today is that we celebrate the day that Thomas Jefferson finished writing it and goes, yeah, that's pretty good. It's like not the day it was put in or signed in. Not the day it really meant something. Just, you know, this, this is the day. Not even the first draft, it was the final draft, it was approved. That's weird. I don't know. Well, we're going to play Uncharted 3 today. It's a game that is about America. In so much as it's about the rest of the world. Some guy with the... I don't know, he's kind of a jerk. He's wearing a shirt. He's just going around the world and he's just taking stuff that doesn't belong to him. Is he going to get his comeuppance? Well, I don't know. We learned that before he had stubble, he was a child. In yesterday's episode, we got to see him meet his mentor, Sully. Victor Sully Sullivan. Uh, I liked Sully a little bit more yesterday in the flashback scenes because he seemed like more of a human, like an Ernest Hemingway character, kind of just dissatisfied everywhere. And here he is in South America with a mustache. 
Nathan Drake just seemed like kind of an idiot little kid. He still, uh, as a grown-up, seems like an idiot little kid. I don't see any room for moral complexity in him. Uh, I hope this story surprises me. Uh, I talked over with a few friends uh, my impressions of the beginning of this game and how I enjoyed it. How I enjoyed the somewhat leisurely pace. I was assured that uh, the god darn thing was going to... Uh, become a hardcore action movie, more or less, very soon. And that, I'm ready for. I'll play a hardcore action movie, you know. I'll get right with it. I mean, whatever. I'm excited to see what kind of an action movie it is. And I'm, uh... I'm pretty cool with it just being a hangout. And uh, if it's gonna surprise me with some structural things, all the better. What could be better? Anyway, I'll be back in a moment after I configure my stream. Well, let's begin. This is uh, my daughter, and this is my son. This is Blue Baby. This is Pink Baby. They're my children. They're all I've got. So, here's that Lord of the Rings music. We're on the Chateau. According to my save data file, I'm 22% of this game uh, charted, and 78% is uncharted. Oh, and before we begin, Dr. Pepper right here in the microphone. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or 20. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? Yeah. You are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that it's way all on your it. own, if well, you then. recall. Their mouth's moved. Besides, That's good. I got you out, didn't I? Always get you out. <laughs> Just don't get me into jail <gasps> next time, so like, Whoa! That was tubular. I didn't expect to jump that far. You know, it ain't uncharted until you're in a jungle. You know what I mean? That waterfall's really quiet. That's strange. All right, Saul boy, where are we going? Oh, reward unlocked. See bonus menu. Maybe I'll take a look at that. Uh, Come on through here. When the radiation finally gets to me and I start Just to like care. Just like Lawrence's notes. Get out of faith in me, Sully. Got to have faith in that church. This ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. A little weird depth of field. All right. Come on, we'll it's find some... another way around. His IK turned off for a second there. Did you see that? find another way around. This is good. See, this is what I come to these games for. You know? There's a castle. Go on and get in there. That's what they're saying to me. Go on and get in there. Oh. God forbid a tree branch. This man has killed more people than God and he's uh, he just can't climb over a tree branch. What's wrong with you, boy? <coughs> Is what my mom would say. Hey, is that a pan flute? No, that's a flute. It's not a pan flute. You idiot trash. Don't know a Macbeth reference. Must say, baby loves 60 FPS. 
Hey, get on the log, moron. Alright. Nope. Okay. Well, we can't go that way, so... Oh, no. Can't go that way, either. Well, heck. Sully, you want to just go home? Oh, red. Is that the color I'm looking for? Now we gotta find a ladder to knock down for Sully. This way. Watch your step. Be sure to use the left analog Oof. stick, Nate. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. Oh, man. The rest was added on later. Yeah, there's a whole lot of patchwork architecture in Europe. It's sort of awesome. Yeah, that's my comment on that. There's a lot of uh, really old buildings that have really old parts just in the middle of them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. There's like a nice, uh, the Notre Dame Basilica Cathedral in Montreal has a chapel in the back that is not of the same era. Sell it your first car. Oh, what? Man. Oh, shut up. That's a 1927 Albert. That is a nice car. I think that thing weighs like 12,000 pounds. Oh, no. Oh, I live. Okay, so somebody was here yeah. circa 1927. Lawn art. Pretty taggy. <laughs> it looks like a Zelda uh, thing, but I'd have to light up. Now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according Gilbert to Lawrence, Godfrey? all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find him. That's well, because that's the one part he mentioned. Drake, I just, I hate to stop you here, but do you do realize Arabia is not a place, right? It's like an idea. No good? Not getting in this way. Ah, oh, too many trees? I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess, you're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. It's made of stone, Drake. He's not gonna burn anything down. Just go in there. Oh, no. Uh, this is an Assassin's Creed, so you can't climb anything that pr that protrudes. I just want to point out I'm very close to my TV right now, so it's actually super disorienting. I'm pretty much playing this in VR. I talked about how close I was to my TV. There's a red brick. How close I was to my TV when I played Assassin's Creed 4. Well, I'm even closer now. So... This is actually a pretty good distance. They say you're supposed to sit farther, but, uh... Let's see them say that now. Alright. I think I can jump to that drain pipe. Wow! That was kind of an impressive jump. It looked almost real. There we go. What about that window above you? Shut up. I don't want to cut myself. Yeah. Wow, he's talking about the safety of his hands all of a sudden. You shake hands with Nathan Drake. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you let go, you look at your hand, there's just like no skin on your palm. Right, nice going, kid. Be right back. That guy, this guy's got to have calluses that would, that would just shave the flesh off of your hand bones if you shook hands with him. Is that a sewing machine? Hey, hang on, Sully. I gotta make a new shirt. What kind of shirt is he wearing now? He's wearing a Henley shirt with a pocket. It's got standard shoulder sleeves. He was wearing a, uh, a Raglan uh, Henley baseball shirt in the previous chapter. So he's changed his shirt. It's kind of a little bit of subtle realism that you don't they don't call your attention to. Still. Whoa. That's it. I'm dead. Start over? Oh, no. Oh, that hurts. Hey, kid. Up here. It's chained shut. 
All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Just don't be right in front of it, moron. Yeah, you could have, like, moved further out of the way if you were that concerned, Sully. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh man, I hope there's some shadow demons there. Oh man, look at this place. Oh, I've been looking at it, Nate. Here, kid, help me press this no. wall. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? You can try. Up where? Up there? See, I like this. It's problem solving. Okay, that's not problem solving. That's kind of problem making. Can you climb this? No, too many leaves on top. Wow. Help me lift this up. Man, I like how these puzzles are actually subtly very interesting because, uh, like, your NPC characters are finding solutions. It's like he, he legitimately found that before I did. Now, were I playing this through the second time, Be careful up there. I would Damn go stand by that fallen thing. Looks just, like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Just, uh,. They lowered him down to clean him. Expectational hey, of Sully some kind coming of mechanism over and over saying there. we should lift it. Over where? Oh, yeah, there it is. I'd be ready for it. However, the first time, I didn't think to look at that. And Drake's character didn't think to look at that. Oh. Oh, you didn't have to make that much noise there. <sighs> Go back up. Ooh, he did a little... We gotta spin. find a way across. Oh yeah? How about you run and jump at that chandy layer? <laughs> That's just my favorite sound when he does that. <laughs> Kaboom! Oh. Drakey, Drakey. I have an idea. What's your idea, idiot? Crank it till you... Wow, it's just so self-assured. That's cool. Yeah. No god darn humility, huh, buddy? Where'd all that go? Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. Oh. Quit your belly aching, Sully. Okay. Kaboom. Yeah, baby really knows a good chandelier. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this kind of a hang, again, we've pointed this out when we talk about upper body strength. This is incredibly hard. Most ripped dudes are lucky if they can do like three of those in a 24 hour period. The human body does not like doing, does not like doing that. All right, here we go. I just press the button a lot. Don't fall. He's gonna fall in. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Oh, his shoes are There's far better. Be right down. Suited, this time. How do I get down? Oh god, that fall kind of scared me a bit. Is that lichen? Oh, where are we going? Hey, tell me where we're going. Is that a popcorn machine? You idiot, you don't know what that is? It's a tabernacle. I gotta tell everybody the truth. Yesterday, I ran 10 okay, miles. Okay, see if we can find a way to that tower. I'm talking, Drake. I ran 10 miles and I ran really fast. And uh, I think I like pinched a nerve in my butt. So like my whole left leg feels really weird. So it's uncomfortable to sit in this chair. And it's uncomfortable to sit on the sofa. I've just been trying to stand up all day. So yeah, I squeezed a nerve in my butt. Which is something that's probably happened to Nathan Drake a lot. Only, whoa! Yeah, see, there you go, there's another one of those. 
I personally have never... I can do pull-ups. I'm not going to say how many, but I can do some. I just did some yesterday. No? Oh, nice, dainty little step there. I can do pull-ups, but I have never done a free-hanging pull-up. If you have in the chat, let me know. Oh, as for the chat, boy, oh boy, do I have some, uh, some sweet news for everybody. As you can see... Your chat conversation items are visible on the screen. Just heard several firework sounds that sounded exactly like gunshots outside. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That'd be it, you stupid old man. It. Nice. Thanks. Oh. Well, he just kind of complimented him in sort of a friendly manner. I expected him to be condescending. Sorry, I doubted you, Nathan Drake. Let's see how he performs on these stairs. I'm going to stop staring at the graphics stuff. Uh, it impresses me so much how many different running animations he has. He has so many of them. They just uh, <clears throat> kind of filled this game with them. Just for all the different directions. The, the animation system is uh, kind of a masterpiece. I mean, it's not perfect, but what in God's name in the video games comes close, you know? Right here? No, that's rocks. Oh, right here. Oh, there's a couch. I was saying to someone in the chat yesterday that Whenever I see furniture on the side of the road, it terrifies me to think of someone who would actually pick up a sofa. Like a gross, nasty sofa off the side of the road and then take it into their house. Wow. I really enjoy this room. This is beautiful. These portraits, very excellent art. This is, this is really nice. So these uh, games are always talking about, you know, Cliffy B's uh, tagline or catchphrase, key phrase. That's the that's the phrase I'm looking for. His key phrase for Gears of War One was "destroyed beauty." The world of Sarah was the name of the Earth. S E R R A. They had like a name for their planet. And uh, I interviewed him, and he said, "Well." If the city's destroyed, it just looks cooler. And it's easier to make something destroyed with the graphics we have now. And uh, also, it ties into the cover-based shooting because there's pillars and blocks and blown up cars all over the place. So, that was true then. And it's still true now that it's easy to impress someone with a broken place because you can have trees growing. And if you make it look natural, where natural nature includes randomness uh, then it just looks fantastic and this room is very nice to look at and you're meant to walk through it so quickly I love it that's attention to detail however having said that I would have a little bit more fun in a game where this room was presented as it was in its golden age and I was just hanging out at a party in here with graphics of this quality. Assassin's Creed Unity almost gives me that. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, come on. We got it. Watch it! Can't go back that way, huh? Wait a minute. Naughty Dog, did you guys just dump that map back there? I believe that map has been dumped. So, we are now inside this map. All the doors breaking, locking you into a place. I actually love that stuff. Oh, again, look at this room. Look at all hey, these Nate. unique art pieces. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Oh, will you shut yeah. up? I would have noticed that. That's got to mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Where do you think the stereotypes came from, buddy? Uh, 
Sully, this knight is facing the wall. Oh, that's gold. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Wait. Shield. Lawrence acts. made a note about something like this. Oh, I hope it Drake's journal. Uncharted yeah. Drake's journal. Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones right. in this room. Alright. I like the notebook mechanic. The game has uh written these hints to these puzzles because our guy does his homework. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing of the, the right action. way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Yeah, I really don't think that this castle realistically would have had this. Alright, what do we got? What's the cipher here? So Shield faces axe. Morning star faces shield. Uh axe faces shield. And sword faces axe. I mean it's about facing, right? Shoot. Shield faces axe. Well, the axe is in that corner. Must be some kind of trick to it. Alright, so now he's facing the guy with the shield. Wait, that's not what I meant to do at all. Axe is facing shield. Shield is facing axe. Yeah, I've read a couple Hardy Boys books. I, I can figure this sort of thing out. Morning Star faces shield. Also, I must say, Lawrence was really good at drawing. There we go. Well, well. A, a secret, secret passage. A little bit on the nose, don't right. you think? Gotta hand it to you, Sully. Seems to be stuck. So let's unstick it. How we unstick it? Well, we gotta kick it. Shoot it! Okay. I love thinking of these two guys just, like, three, instead right? of going through that puzzle, Wait, just them one, going... Two, pull, or one, two, three, pull. Blast it, Drake. Just pull. Got it. Oh, a petty little argument while they load the next scene. There we go. Oh. Sully, you fall down here too so that they can unload that scene. Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. Yeah, you're gonna live forever. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. Be careful down there. Right. See you later, soul boy. Hope there is another side. There's always another side, Nate. What the hell is that noise? Yeah, it's probably Nazis. God, I hope there's Nazis in this one again. I should be able to get through here. Yeah, shimmy through. You got it. A little bit of a rib squeezer. Go for it. Oh, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. That's it. That's the end. Oh. We've loaded the next area now. Ooh. Holy shnikes. Huh? Oh, baby's gonna die. Johnny's gonna die. Oh, I got it. Why is the screen gray? I'm breathing. Shoot, that scared the heck out of me. Hey, light. It's a good sign. Wait, was it dark in there? Is that why it was black and white? All right, how are we gonna die? Shoot, man, I bet you wish you'd stayed home. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I love the first attempt to just kind of run and then immediately, uh... Don't fall off the edge, idiot. Man, I can jump down there. That looks safe. That's a joke about how many sharp rocks there are. Oh. Alright. 
I knew this psycho could make it over there. You got it, you got it, buddy. Way out. No, don't right, that, don't ever thank God yet. Don't do it yet. Yeah? Shoot. Oh man, this is Dark Knight Rises as heck. The Drake Knight Rises. You got it. Oh <gasps> Monsters! They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Why not hunt them up, huh? <laughs> I got warned Sully. Why don't you kill some people first? Oh man, his body got savaged. Oh man, he can just shoot from back here. All right, now this is pod racing. I can pop off one headshot before this whole thing goes loose. Ah, shoot. How do I throw this darn thing? Oh. I think I'm not being sneaky enough. Who's that? Ah, shoot. All right, Draco, get over here. I like the stealth in Uncharted. It's silly. All right, finally, the real game begins. Enough of this piddling around. Hey, turn your back. Oh, that guy's, oh. Oh, shoot. Looks like it's time to go guns out. All right. Oh, what? My joke was gonna be, looks like it's time to go Indiana Rambones. Let me pop up and kill Johnny. Oh, monstered. I will point out that I, I played the garbage out of the first Uncharted. Keep him in your sights. Oh, what? That was all it took? Trash garbage. Wow, something got blowed. Get punched. Get murdered. Can you get wasted? Do you want to get run? And gunned? By Nathan Sicko Drake? AK-47. All right, all right. Why am I playing like an idiot? I know how to play this game. Oh, what? What? I don't get any more chances at stealth? Shoot, can I reload? Okay. Oh, bah. Give me that sawed off, mate. Oh, 
shoot. Change guns, man. Shoot! I just will shoot this. Johnny's gonna die. Here it comes. You're dead. Oh, I'm dead? Oh, there's somebody up there. Was he just talking to Jesus? Yeah, I'm just sprinting around. I just almost killed myself with that. Man, this level design would have been real fun to stealth through. I was ready. Man, those guys have the high ground, but Nathan Drake is just like... I got an Uzi, man. Come on. High ground ain't nothing. Is that it? Did I win? Another uncharted success. This is what I need. Is that what you needed? Is that really it? Holy shnikes. I don't see who's shooting. Oh, you? Mate, give it up. Right in the balls. Ah, thanks for the gift, boys. Start by holding L2. Okay. With L2 held, tap L1 to throw a grenade. That's kind of a lot of... Yeah, you're dead. Actually, that's not a bad system for that. That's it? Well... Oh. I'll take your bullets, please. Maybe they might need them. Standard fight. Grenade. Oh, didn't see that coming. Yeah, this guy really respects ancient architecture, doesn't he? I wonder if there's like a. I really would love a game where, like, grenade, like that arc style golf grenade, you know, if, where that was like the, the primary weapon was like that. I would actually like that a lot. We were working on an FPS for a while that was like that. Sully's pinned down. I must have a. Uh... Looks like Marlow brought a goddamn army. Yeah. Did you already say that? You said a small army. Come on, you son of bitches. Oh, you? Garbage filth. Oh. I invented the run and gun, idiot. There. What? What? Don't hit me. Oh, I Jack and Daxter, that guy. Is that it? Just give me more gun, buddy. Get, Get moron. Hey, idiot. Oops. I just threw a grenade that hit the wall. 
Oh, shot in the back. Dead in France. Good job, Nathan Drake. brought a goddamn army. Yeah. I think the bus just got here. They took a bus? Man, you. That was it. I expected those guys to try a little harder. Oh, so wasted. Did you see that? You idiot. He died real fast once he got hit. I want the grenade. Whoa, I'm through. I think you're through. Oh, shnikes. Oh, I did it. What happened to him? Oh, the, wow. Oh, this guy's some sort of a secret service. Hit man. That must have been Agent 48. He wasn't very good. No, no, no. I don't want the defender. I want the arm micro. Sully? Just like Peru, huh? Oh, really? Oh, really what? Yeah, heck your superior position, butthole. God, it looks like Marlo brought a small army with her. These guys love dropping grenades just as they die. Sully, who's left? Nobody? appreciate a more appropriate reaction to being shot. I would have liked him to like, like, yell. Like, oh god. Like that. Or, ah. Oh. Like, I want each hit to just like send the guy backward and into total ownage. Not that door. The, the In Uncharted, the way you learn that a door, oh, there's Agent 47. Or 48. Hey. Rise and shine, buttwad. Man. No corpse defilement allowed in these games is kind of weird. That's, uh... Just making sure. Up this way. <laughs> Up this way, he says, while balloon addling uh, himself into and out of the air. That great struggle. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Which one? This one? Now keep doing it. Yeah, do it. Get it. A million guys with guns. Oh, hey. this is reminding me of the Philippines. Which way now? I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? Yeah, we could try that. Or, Sully, you could tell me what country this reminds you of. What adventure from our past, uh... Just reference the country name, and I'll uh, I'll mention how old I was. Ah. Ah. Okay. 
So we're not going down here. We just fought a battle down there. Ah, uh, X marks the spot. No, I guess it doesn't. I guess that's just kind of a... Hey, look at this. Oh, it's a zombie. What the hell? It's a zombie, dude. It's one of Talbot's men. It was? That's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? No Super idea, aging death. sure as hell don't like it. Supposing I, you would like me to go down here, huh, Sully? Uh, uh. Alright. Hey, look at the tiles. Oh, Sabian, Sabian script. script. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't say anything, though. It's just nonsense. It's anything got some PlayStation it, button symbols yeah, on it. Yeah, I think so. You know, we had an X in our game. Seems to be in order to the symbols. What? The pattern you have to follow. Wait, what is that? Is it censored? Why can't I read it? Oh, he wrote the solution down for everyone to see. Uh. Is this game broken? What is that? Why can't I read this? I, I can't read that. Are you kidding me? This tile here is different from the others. Must be some kind of marker. Oh, yeah? Well, the shield is the second marker. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So find the shield. Don't look at your watch. You don't even know what time zone this is. Come on, we gotta solve this thing here. Sh Sully, hey, Sully. Sully, can you, can you, sh look at this. Look at this, Sully. Man? Just here. Here, look, look at this. Sully. I, I, like, I can't... I can't tell what this says, Sully. Look at this. What, what is... Man, what? Hey. The tile's depressed when you step on I depress when you step on I'll me. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. The penitent man. I messed up. So this is the beginning. Is this the... Did Jonathan Blow steal this for the witness? No. I have to trial and error Maybe you gotta walk across them in a certain order. Yeah, that's... Why do you think I've just tried three different orders, you piece of garbage? Well, heck, I don't know. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere, idiot. No? Okay, I, I cannot read that. One, two, three... It must be a path name. If you step on the tiles in the right order, something's bound to happen. You Daxter all of a sudden? I know what I'm doing. You old idiot. Oh my god, I can't read that. Am I missing something? Can, uh, it, can somebody Google this? I hate this. The right order, huh? One, two, and then something else. Okay. So, any two of these seems to do it. 
Man. All right, now we're getting someplace, Sully. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's pretty much the witness. Let's uh, figure out the order, idiot. That's what the witness challenges you to do. Man. You gotta go fast? What? I hate this. But I also kind of like it. This is the kind of thing I would have really liked when I was a child. Why not that time, buddy? Oh, I, hold on, I don't know. There's the sound. Hint? There's that one over there. I'm supposed to go over there. Is that it? Don't give me a hint anymore. I don't want hints. I'm gonna play this game with my adult brain. Okay. I'm gonna try the X on the right this time. Try the X in front of me. Oh, this is the worst. Yeah, I can't read that, still. This is terrifying. There's nothing to learn here. Try going through all of those then. Stop it. Two, three, four. No? Uh oh. Baby's gonna give up real soon. Oh, that's not the right order. Yes, yeah, Sully? Yeah, still can't read this. But he referenced it as though it were something in the notebook that would help him. Is this Sabian script? Now going back is not the answer. Well, shoot. Uh, I'm confused. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, yeah, I think it's about activate that many of the symbol as well. It's just I don't know what. Shut up about your hints. Reveal puzzle solution. What? No. I grew up with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, reveal a bunch of them, but... Lord. Okay, okay, hold on.
Okay, so I can get all of those. Today. I, I can I can get more of them now. This is nonsense. Oh, X marks the spot. Well, shoot! If I can activate one of these right away, what am I waiting for? Still not detecting any pattern whatsoever. That's good. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to be able to read this. Can someone... Somebody look this up on the internet and see if there's like an image of that notebook page. See if I mess... Look it up on GameFAQs. Tell me if... I've encountered some fatal glitch. Man, this is depressing. The game was going so well. This is one of the worst puzzles I've ever seen. And I've played a few hours of The Witness. That's a joke. The Witness is cool. Whatever. Oh, boom. Is there a timing element to it? So I know that I can go to that one. Let's see if I wait too long. That one didn't make the right sound. Because there's a sound. That's the end. Okay, so there's sounds that it makes. I, I hear that. Okay. That's not the right one. Okay, I got it. So that one's not it. All right, do it, Nate. No, that one's not it either. You got it, buddy. No. So that ends it. Okay, I hate this. Okay, so not the X on the right. All right, I got it. Take long? If it does, I'm gonna smoke a cigar. I'm doing my best, Sully. Okay. I like how he finally said something. God dang you. That one and then up here. Saying. Nothing. 
not that one. Oh god, help me. No revealing. I don't want a hint. I don't need a hint. What? Kind of feel like a jerk weed. Why did I do that again? I hate this. I go back. That's what I do. Okay. No puzzle crafter can resist the urge to make someone double back. So I know how to get there. This is fun. Penitent man. Did it. You did it. You did it. Wait, also, what else did I do? That's a uh, Coca Cola Cherry Zero, the second beverage of the day. Lord, that uh, was pretty obnoxious, but once I heard that sound, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Sound cues. Jonathan Blow would have a lot to say about that puzzle. Let's get him on the line. It's pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Oh, light your, light your cigar. So, Sully carries matches. Oh, <coughs> looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? <coughs> this stuff's got to be at least 400 years old. Oh, so it's not going to help us make any meth. Let's keep going. Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. This guy loves lighting matches. Oh, he's gonna light something and he's gonna blow up. And there's gonna be a big bass sound. Hmm. Boom. And then he alchemist gets flown style. through the wall and he's dead. Wait a second. Oh, we're gonna have to do some alchemy. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Or my bedroom. Marlowe's creepy hideout. Oh. Uh, uh, Sully. Sully, this is John D's lab. All the way out here? In <clears throat> France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades. Just like Lawrence did. Just like Lawrence. Hey, look at this. Uh, look at what? I was looking at the chat, the Twitch chat. What were you talking about? Cell boy? Huh? Huh, Salbo? This is being script again. I hate but what this is he stuff. Simple? Looks like he was trying to work something out. He should There's work out his muscles. Enochian? I don't know what any of that means. Think you can decipher it? I'm not I'll an try. idiot, Sully. Oh, cipher disc. Uh, he literally, literally has a decoder ring. To the underworld. Huh. You know that well, he did use magic watch you're wearing, spirits. Drake? It's really well, uncomfortable. Could be hiding a secret passage. Maybe in the 1920s oh. it would have been rugged. Right. That but... push. It's not functional right now. You'd want a vinyl band, probably. Some sort of micro pleather would be better than that. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you, John D. Oh. Well, you're crafty too. And old. Yeah, but John D's older because he's dead. Punched your dialogue up for you. Here we go! Had to use your decoder ring to decipher push the table. Come on, guys. Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, 
Much better. I saw someone in the chat mentioned uh, the beginner's guide. I'd play that game. Wow, did Sully? Sully, for God's sake, I, we got to talk about this right now. Did you literally just tell me I should bring my own matches because I asked you to light a torch? I climbed up a goddamn wall. I headshot like forty guys. I solved a stupid puzzle. I can read weird languages. You're not doing anything. Lord. Man. You know what, though? Cellboy's the best. I love that guy. He's hilarious. I'd go eat a taco with him, you know? I think it's over here, Sully. Alright, here we go. Here it comes. I'm pretty sure that that wow, you would have he would have lit his clothes on fire. We're in. It looks like they really want to keep it in, actually. I mean out. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we don't actually yeah, okay, maybe you guys are both right. I got it. There you go. Oh wait, is that uh Inaki and script on the wall? Looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. Look, he called it San Atlantis. Exactly. Oh, do I have to? Is, is this one gonna look like something? Like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. Oh, so he got as far as horse crest. Oh, he drew the puzzle there. So this is like something that T.E. Lawrence had written. Alright, what do we got? Uh, two, the double X, double square in the pie, and then a horse over there and a bird in the sky. Bird in the bottom in the middle, red in the upper left and right. Nathan Drake has angular fingernails. What do we got? All right. The price is right. Hey. Look, I see a wheel. I just want to give it a spin, man. I just want to give it a spin. Give me... Let me... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Medieval game show? Oh. I Very was elaborate. A... Yeah. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. No, they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. Alright, this is ridiculous. This didn't exist. Wait, what? I... Yeah, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Thinky me likey. Uh, hold on. Eagle on the crest. Your day will be the best. Oh, good thing these things can overlap each other. Look at the notebook, Drake. Hold on. Whoa. The eagle goes between the double square, the double X, and the pie. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go for all the price. Oh, I gotta move that darn one. Can you get your lion out of my vacation here? Alright. I'm gonna win the prize. That's kaboom. One step at a time, fellows. Uh, uh, the horse goes up in sort of a, a night move up to the left of the crest. Oh, shoot. 
Just about blew it. Not the donkey, the horse. I did it. So the big question is, who? John D's secret lab in France. Can you get your hand out of the way? Eagle or Phoenix, he's not sure. Horse. So I did that right. Cause that one's up against the wall, yeah. Uh, so what are the other ones? A hua, hua. All right. So we got this, and yeah, I don't know where these are supposed to go. Am I supposed to place my hunch on symmetry? Oh, stop it. Always bet on symmetry. That would be symmetrical, is that right? Shoot. So what are those two red squares? Okay, hold on. I think I got it. Does it not just go the way I... Does it just always choose to go the way I don't think it's going to go? No, wrong, wrong, and wrong one. I don't think that's right. Ah, oh, heck. Sully... Where'd you go? didn't do it. Maybe it's supposed to look like the uh, lion is going to eat the pony or the donkey. I think the red squares on there were more like to indicate something was uh just that they were squares uh oh god oh. Jonathan Blow would have something to say about this puzzle as well I'm sure don't move that one
Okay. One that looks like a number one. I move that one to the right of a number one, and then this one to the right of a pie. It's not a pie, but a, it's more of an N. Is that it? No, not good enough. supposed to overlap oh get the horse back on there buddy oh, this is just earth shatteringly stupid I'm gonna wonder about hold on Why is the music getting all intense? Oops. I might have decoded it. Baby might have cracked the case. No, Baby didn't crack anything. Baby didn't crack nothing. Baby failed. I hate this. I'm sitting here. I'm tired. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm messing with this. take a sip of my drink. What do we got going on in the chat? What do we got? Could be other clues around the room. Someone asks, why can't I pre-order Video Ball on Xbox One? Because if you pre-order it, like pre-buy it, then it doesn't count as a day one sale. And uh, unfortunately, day one sales are extremely important. Like the, like the number of sales that happen on the first day. So that's why. Uh... I need my bargaining leverage. Oh, there. Oh, how boring. Oh man, it's got, it's an angled, uh, weirdo griff. It's an N from over there, but it's an H from over there. Or a sun. That's fun. That's where the eagle goes. So from the left, it's one of those, and from the right, it's one of those. That's where the eagle goes. Okay, this is fun. From the left, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the top or the bottom? The top is the double axis. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what any of those are, man. I can read this chicken scratch. Sun. Fork. Moon. Shut your mouth, hints. Person. And that's, well, the darn crest is gone, so it's one of those two. Lion. Okay, this is important. It's got four on all sides. 
It's a little scorpion tail. A little scorpion tail. A little chair. A little person. That one goes where that H is in the upper left. That's the lion. All right. Kaboom, you did it, idiot. And what's that other bubby? Moon. Person. Sun. Fork. Moon, person, sun, fork. Oh, there's only one moon. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Lord. Give me a god darn heart attack. Oh! Got it. Good job. Mm. Looks inviting. I just want to say they wouldn't have put no solution on there. If I'm locking my valuables up, I don't put a gotcha. I don't like put a little word puzzle Lord about Godfrey, the combination. The one and only. Lord Godfrey, I presume. Welcome to Lord Godfrey's tomb. This is it. Here, hold this, way. Sure. Oh, owned. Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. Oh, looks like we'd better kill all these guys who are waiting outside, and then... Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, Since Lancelot's dead. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Landed? He didn't have an airplane in the 16th Could century. Could be the name of a city? Shit, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. Cutter and Chloe aren't going to be able to find stuff. Trust me, it's Nathan Drake and his AK-47. Nathan Drake K forty seven is the only guy who can find stuff in this series. Excellent. I wouldn't recommend that. Looks like we got to escape in a blaze of glory, Sully. Just like Thanks in Panama. Work, Shut up, Harris. Please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. I'm gonna relieve you of that suit when I uh, blow Harris. it off your body with bullets. Oh, Drake got no, shot. It's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Sully, you sold me out. Oh, Nate. Was Drake deceived? Wait, when when is Drake gonna be deceived? Was his deception when he like faked his death earlier? Is he the one being deceived or was he the one performing the deception? Is Sully gonna turn on me? What is that? Him and his girlfriend, it's a twenty year long what con. The hell? Oh line. man, those no. spiders moving in 60 Quick. frames per second on this uh, pre-rendered cutscene that is a lower resolution than the game. It's kind of interesting. Who let the dogs out, huh? Where by dogs I mean spiders. Good luck with that. Spiders? Why did it have to be spiders? What a dick! Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Up. Let's Stay climb. Close. Let's climb. Do you have enough bullets in your gun to kill them all, Sully? We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. Wow, this is like Gears of War. Come on, come on. Let me up. Give me a hand. This is the last of us as heck. Man, these drums, dude. Oh, Jack and Daxter. I mean, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Kelly! Come on! Come on! 
We gotta go! Go! Oh, that ruled. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, Nathan Drake. Oh. I got him on me. <laughs> it's not enough to die by spider poison. You gotta bend your knees all the way backward when you do. Is that fall cinematic or? You got it, Drake. You got it, buddy. You got it, buddy. You got it. I am running. I am running. Well, they're high speed spiders. They're speeders. My thumb is like slipping off the analog stick here. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, you're gonna ragdoll to death. Oh, help me. I don't wanna. Get it off! Take it off! Alright, you're clear. Huh? Yeah. But me. Turn around. Oh, you're good. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. You got an Uzi, just shoot them all, man. Uh. You know, that's actually an idea for a business. It's like an exterminator who no, we're not going that way. comes into your house and like, sh like shotguns all the roaches. Spiders. Leaves your house looking like that <laughs> scene in The Conversation. Has everyone here seen The Conversation? It's a very good, very good movie. It's one of my top tens, I don't know. So we just live here now, is that it? Kaboom, idiot. Play dead, Moran. Huh? Huh? Uh, can I get in there, Sully? God, it sounds like he's taking a dump. Sully, what do I do? You're the smart one, right? Oh, no, wait, you're not. You're the old idiot who's out of touch and losing all his skills. Oh man, I gotta go to the bathroom, Sully. We should, we need to figure this out, Sully. I'm gonna go take a dump on these bricks. You just look at that wall. Look at those bricks while I take a dump on these bricks. I'm gonna park a brick on the. <laughs> I'm gonna park a brick on these bricks, Sully. Man, I don't know, dude. I feel kind of bad about that. I don't know why. Man. Just throw me something here. Stop looking at your watch. Help me out, man. Lord. I know I have to go in there. So how do I do it? There's not anything on here for me to look at. Lord. God dang. Man, what? it's right there, dude. It is nowhere near outside of your skill set to climb onto that. This guy climbed Mount Everest with one hand. Well, we're not going down that way, he said earlier. We'll suggest something else. This really gets my goat, this sort of thing. I have one button that works. If this were Assassin's Creed, I'd be, like, on the very top of that thing right now. I'd have jumped off of it, died, and then reloaded, and then been back. Huh? Help me out, man. Dance, old man. Huh? Huh?
Oh, this sucks, dude. I can't believe that I'm stuck at this. I am in the tiniest possible space and I don't know how to go up there. This is this is kind of disgusting. It's like it's like barely above your head, man. I don't want to say I could climb up there because I probably couldn't, but like should I run and jump at it? No, because that actually never works for any of these. Maybe I should go back in there. Spider hole. here up here do I just have to touch every wall and do this can't climb with vines <gasps> okay what I was supposed to go out. down here didn't I just climb up from here help me with this door kid no good. Shoot it. Uh. No. I'll see if I can find a way across. Yeah, you're pretty good at finding a way across, huh? Watch yourself. Uh, I got it. He it's gonna go. I know, I know. He warned you about this last time, kid. <laughs> Lord, get up there. Oh, you're about to get so owned, yeah. man. Oh, just like I planned. Now we gotta find a way down. I hear monsters. There's one beating in your chest. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Own Zone. Nathan Drake's personal podcast. I'm gonna hop down here. Empty those cats. Empty those, Empty those cats. Drop. Oh, it's gonna be good to the last drop, <laughs> Moran. They're gonna burn this place down. Yeah, see? Oh no! So we gotta get out of here. They can't burn this place down. It belongs in a museum. So do you. Oh, well, that's it. That's the. Oh. Ah. This is how it goes. This is where I, my story ends, is what Drake said in his head right there. Man, don't burn this place down. This place is cool. Sure, you probably can't order a pizza. Wait, what, what's going on? Owns. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Yeah, idiot. 
get runned and gunned, moron. Oh. Pin him. We gotta kick that thing around. What? 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 You got it, Nate. No? What, what are you doing, buddy? There's a big green button prompt. Oh. Oh, you're coming over here? Outrun the fire, old man. Dance! Dance! Let's go! Got your back! Kaboom. Let's go! I'll shoot you across. Alright, where are we going? I hope you brought the I hope you brought the weenies to roast, Sully. Or we might just have to make do with our own. Yeah? You're gonna give me a boost up there? You've never done that before. Alright. A free hanging boost. That's no good! Crap! Gotta be a way out of here! I'll kill you and then we'll meet in heaven. I find that when I just shoot a couple people in the head, a, a solution presents itself. Come on, Sully, just jump like I did. There's too much heck in here. We need to get it out. No? Jimmy, buddy. I'm gonna drink my cherry uh, coat. No. Oh. And that is the end. Oh, no, it's not. That was just a regular death. I thought. Go up there. Get up there. Fire is going to slowly climb the bricks alongside me. Wow, no way you did that. Straight up. This guy climbed K2 with just his teeth. This kid climbed K2 with just his teeth. Yeah, I got it. I'll give you a shoulder. Wow! I got slugged! Oh, shoot! What? You fancy yourself a rake? Right Tough guy. What? Oh, he... Fancy yourself a right tough guy, do you? All right. Whoa, shoot. I can't, uh... Oh, I, I have to brawl with this guy. Because that's what Indiana Jones would do? Heck you, pal. Do I even disarm it? He's dead. Let's go. Pl 
close range. Get your head eat. What? Who's doing that? Boy! Crap. Alright, I got you in the white region. Yeah. I gotta try it again. Sully, are you sure he's dead? Wait, up here. Wait up here. Let's get out of there. Oh. Holy shnikes. Alright, go, go. Man, Sully's like my buddy. Oh no. Shit. Damn it! Sully, I'm stuck! Help me out! Shit. I'm gonna have to shoot your leg off, kid. Gonna have to shoot your leg off, kid. I'm really entertained by the idea of of these guys solving absolutely everything by shooting it. Ah, uh, heck! I'm just gonna die over here, so like, can you shoot me? Maybe I'll materialize on the other side. Nope. Oh. Wow! Holy lord! Man, talk about your cinematic action. Be my buddy. Come on up here. Come on, Nate, keep moving. Sully! Oh, he's got no upper body strength. The old man is dead. Maybe you should hit the climbing gym with Nate sometime. I got you. I got you. Go. Go. No. Of all the things I've seen Nathan Drake do with his uh, with his superhuman Captain America back muscles, that was clearly the more the most amazing. Look at this. Yeah, he's just Come on, Nate. Nathan Drake can swim up a waterfall using only his chin muscles. Is this it? <laughs> It. Shoot our way out. God, what did they make glass out of in those days, Sully? Just another day at the idiot kill farm. It's been coming down, buddy. You could be talking about anywhere. Owned. Well, what just happened? Photo mode? Shut your mouth about photo mode. I don't want no photo mode. Stop it. Yeah. really flying around. Should I take the sawed off? <laughs> no, I want to keep the AK. There's a ladder. Come on. <laughs> See, I knew I was going to have to jump to it. Climb the ladder, buddy. This whole place is coming down. Oh, it looks like we're right back where we started, huh? Watch your tank. Oh, God. 
Bandicoot. Wow. Come on. Slide down that drain pipe. Lord. Man, after this, it's going to be just. Nathan Drake's hands are so callous after this that it is an actual crime for him to shake hands with somebody because oh, he will cause so much that bleeding close, huh? that was close that right? was that was oh, ridiculous yeah. just swell nothing that ridiculous has ever right, happened in any movie give me a sec you always seem to forget i got 25 years on you this is like they ordered a pizza said, and when asked enough. what toppings they wanted they said all of Sorry. them double i think we're in that Good. It almost were. <laughs> no, you're not. Wanna talk again? Wanna mention say, again how close the call was? I'm losing the plot here. There isn't one, you idiot. Remind me again why we're doing this. And we want fortune and glory, no, kid. No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. You are too I mean, old for this. These guys are playing for keeps. Yeah? So? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, alright? I am. He is going to lay down Listen, and die. It's probably the emotional center of this I've narrative. Had you back for 20 years. The big 2-0. I'm not -0. going anywhere. Obviously. Mhm. Mm He's going to die. Sure they're they're still foreshadowing for right it. Reasons. What is the right reason, you Sully? Pride all Cash. Up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. That's pride hecking with you, so heck get pride. Yourself killed. Going to get yourself owned. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. All? How many of us are there? Oh, the other two. Oh, no. What? My mom. Cutter and Chloe. Oh, C and C. Sully, if we were Music sure, Factory. Chances are they were too. And they're and idiots. They're yeah, and get to Syria fast. They're a claustrophobic guy and a girl. Remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Well, that was a good joke. That was a good one. They're going to show the werewolf. There's a werewolf. Oh, there's. Oh, the next night. Say what you will, these two blunderers know how to get Damn to Syria. It. Still can't reach either one of them. <laughs> Something is definitely not right. Same shirt? How long till this place opens? Change your shirt, buddy. A few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Sully change his shirt? Why didn't you change yours, man? Chain's been cut. Okay. Let's, oh. So we know we're not the first ones here. All right, Captain Marlo. Obvious. Marlo and Talbot think we're dead. We got the element of surprise. Marlo and Talbot are standing right in there. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage taken type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? Well, how do we know they got Rescue them? Cutter and Chloe. And the four of us just sneak back out. Oh, so we traded right. one castle for another? Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. Syria. The next day. Do we just stand here or what? Hey Sully, take a look at this. No, look at this man. I took some notes on the plane. Hey. I, I took some notes on the plane, Sully. Ah, whatever. No photos. I'm not trying to take a photo, man. Oh, this rules. Can you move your finger? Oh, it's got all the puzzle solutions in there. That's so I can show them to my friends if they need them. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the bathroom. But I'll be right back if everyone would like me to be right back. And if you don't, well, heck it. That's where I'll be. Five percent.
Yeah, these are my little buddies. I'm just looking at the chat over here. I was gonna say something, and I just, I don't know what I should say. I mean, what's going on in the chat? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing in the chat? What were the big points of the story today? Uh, I gotta say, there's, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, There's, uh, what re not really too much happened. Let's try to recount the story so far. Nathan Drake and his buddy Sully showed up to sell a ring to a guy, however knowing they were going to be selling him the fake ring. After he verified it was the real one, they were going to switch it off for the fake one. A fight happens. They got shot in an alley. There's a flashback. Drake was a child. Drake is running across rooftops. He is trying to steal a ring from a museum, a maritime museum, because he believes it belongs to him. This is a maritime museum in Colombia. He's trying to steal this ring because he believes it belongs to his family. Meanwhile, Sully uh, is also trying to steal the ring. They become buddies and establish a mentor-protege relationship, however antagonizing this old British lady. Years later... Uh, it's revealed that the, the, the gunshots were not fatal because they were fake. Right? Fake gunshots. And the guy was working with them and that they were giving away the fake ring just so they could follow these guys to their hideout because they had the codex. And they got the codex. After much trouble, decoded a message got a diary from T.E. Lawrence, realized they had to go to France. They went to France, did a bunch of crap in a castle. Beneath the castle, they found a bunch of really weird puzzles. And upon solving the problem, they realized that there were bad guys. Many bad guys. They had to fight, kill spiders, place burned down. They realized, well, if the bad guys know we're here, then maybe they also know where our buddies are, which is Syria. So now we're in Syria. The box of this game promises me a desert. I had hoped that I would have gotten to 40%, a nice clean 40%. Maybe the puzzles really slowed me down. Maybe the puzzles slowed me down. Tyler Tinsley says, thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for the stream. I mean, you're welcome for the stream. Cavrock's very tired. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean you wish it had more banter? It's an interesting. Cavrock says he wishes it had more banter. The best but of all. Some of us have Pokemon. Some of us have big ideas. Some of us just have me. What does that mean? Pokemon. There's a gunshot outside. Whoa. It's not gunshots. I think it's fireworks. So, yeah. You guys are just talking about baseball. That's good. Maybe the next time I play, the percentage points will rack up faster. That stupid puzzle. Some of those puzzles were... Uh, I don't know, I think, I feel like the game is getting the slow exploration parts out of the way. Because there weren't, if I recall correctly, uh, there were not... So Uncharted 2 was a non-stop, psychotic thrill ride. Up until you get to that village in the Himalayas. And uh, that part, it was, it was nice and chill for a couple minutes. And so many critics picked up on how chill it was for that couple of minutes. And formed this strange basis for criticism that the game was too action oriented so I feel like maybe they front loaded this game with again I have not played this one it just feels like maybe it was front loaded with a lot of 
slow parts and it's probably gonna again the box promises me a desert I feel like Drake is gonna wake up in a desert from an airplane crash I remember a trailer at E3 airplane in the desert was the big the big image so that's gonna happen so once that happens who knows what's gonna happen huh so yeah there's that hmm I mean and then I, I guess there's gonna be this transformative sequence in the desert where he gets to wear a scarf and the game can make some Lawrence of Arabia references and then it's just gonna be a non-stop thrill ride Maybe you'll get to ride a motorcycle, like Lawrence. And I think, uh... Diatom Jack asks, what year does the game take place in? If it's post-2011 Syria. Yeah, I don't know if it's... I don't know what year it's supposed to be. Yeah, so I'm just kinda... I don't... I'm not hoping for a non-stop thrill ride, but I have a lot of fun. You know? When... They're sh shooting at each other like crazy, you know? And they say some stuff, and then I get to joke. I have a good time with those jokes, you know? I have a really good time. Uh, uh, uh. So that's my, uh, that's my review. I, that I just like making jokes when they're bantering. Like when the guy says, the whole place is coming down, I say, you could be talking about anywhere, buddy. Things like that. Sully, I'll shoot you across. Uh, Nathan Drake's foot gets stuck. Oh, Sully, I'm stuck. I'm going to shoot your leg free, kid. You know? Like, I mean, come on, that's that's funny. That's quality television. It's It's autopilot for that. I know how to shoot these dudes. I must say my expectations for Uncharted 4 are definitely picking up. Yeah. Oh, as I scroll down Facebook, I see that Naughty Dog is hiring a, a community manager. Not me. I could never be a community manager. Oh no, it's Santa Monica Studio, not Naughty Dog. I like Santa Monica Studio. I love it. Uh, what are we talking about? Yeah, dude. I wonder who the David Mamet of Twitch streamers would be. I've been watching 24. Uh, and I love it. And uh, it's got uh, Dennis Haysbert in it. Dennis Haysbert, a extreme, extreme talented actor. Uh, he plays Senator David Palmer, the presidential candidate on 24. I'm only in season one. Uh, he's in the show The Wire. Not The Wire, The Unit. Sorry, another show with the, the four-letter name. Uh, years later he was in David Mamet's show The Unit which is on Amazon Instant Streaming if you want to watch a pretty weird Delta Force story that is just machine gun dialogue the dialogue's just amazing and he delivers it so extremely well and I just keep seeing another Mamet uh, alumnus uh, what's his name Jude uh, Chicocello is in there uh, he plays Mike Novick in 24, the, pre the uh, senator's advisor. He's in some mammoth films as well. He's in uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. He plays Roma, would you? I'd like to get some lunch. He plays that guy. Roma, would you? I'd like to get some lunch. Really good delivery of that line. Would really love it. I like. I've seen all the David Mamet films about thieves and uh, con men and con artists. Uh, I've watched Ricky Jay and his 52 Assistants, which Mamet wrote the uh, or punched up the script for. I've watched that hundreds of times. If you can, like, Ricky Jay and his 52 Assistants was an HBO special. And uh, 
it's just the language of it is just beautiful. The delivery is just masterful. Uh, it's sort of the closest we have to Shakespeare in our modern time. It's just a fantastic thing to watch. He's uh, like, I mean, he'll just say, I'm here to demonstrate art, ruse, and subterfuge at the card table. Like phrases like that. I just, I feel like if there's an action game like this, you know. The unit ran on TV for five years, uh, and it slipped past people like my dad's filter, like, with weird, weird, just crunchy, sticky, weird, weird dialogue. A woman's uh, daughter says, why isn't it Saturday? And she replies, it was Saturday, and it will be again. Just, I love that man says, and I ain't that, I think. I ain't afraid of dying. No, I ain't afraid of death. But I am terrified. I'm lo- <laughs> but I'm terrified of letting you down. And I ain't that, I think. I ain't afraid of dying. No, I ain't afraid of death. But I am terrified of letting you down. It's like dialogue like that in a TV show. It's just, it's just beautiful. Can we not get that into a video game? Can't that stuff get in Uncharted? Nobody would notice, except me. And that's why I could never get a job doing that. It's just, you know, I don't want to write the story. Just punch it up. I've realized, you know, I've written a bunch of novels in my life. And the only, uh, I don't want to show them to anybody. But I'll remember turns of phrases on occasion, and I just, you know, I have a real good kind of explosive lol to myself. I mean, I'm an idiot, and I just like fun words. Just somebody let me put fun words in there. Naughty Dog, if you're watching, you know, get me on there. I, I won't even, it's, I won't even make it stupid. I mean, it's just, you can have a little more fun. It's a tiny bit more. Also, Sully hasn't mentioned hookers yet. That's weird. Loves hookers. He used to mention them all the time. Things are still blowing up out there. Have I played Firewatch? Yes, I, uh... Uh, I have played Firewatch. Um, I like it. Uh, I actually accidentally uh, did a Let's Play of it. I I recorded the whole thing. And then I couldn't upload it to YouTube because uh, my internet was just really bad at my house. I could upload that if anybody's interested in seeing it. Uh, I liked it very much. I liked it a lot. Uh, however, I mean, I think it gets, what, like 23, 25 seconds in before it's just F-word o'clock, and it's just the F-word every other sentence. Like, you know, all right. All right, but, I mean, they could kind of chill out. Best Bud of All says, remember I wrote that amazing scene about shaving in the sink. Oh, man, that, the, are you talking about the dialogue? Uh, with the detective and the landlord and the detective's assistant and uh, I really like that dialogue from the most gorgeous situation oh man so yeah if you want to see that uh, that Firewatch let's play that's man that's five hours five hours of me being real sleepy and watching it yeah yeah I remember that scene I wrote about shaving. That's a... Uh, so I guess that part... It's funny that you mentioned that part. That part of that book, which is not really a book, but a kind of an extended, massive, enormous blog entry. Uh, that part is probably the closest to the style of the books I write for fun. All right, books about detectives. I... 
when I started, I knew remarkably little about actual police procedure, and now I know a whole bunch more. I like stories about detectives doing kind of mundane things. And that's it. That's all I really like. I wrote one a couple weeks ago. That was I'm going to stop talking. Let's uh it's time to go to bed. But to eat first. I'll see about that Firewatch thing. I'll see if I've got the file readily uh readily crunchable if I can just pop it into the uploader. I feel like I tried before and the file was too big. Cuz maybe it exported as a ProRes or some big format. I'm going to get on it though. I'll go look at it actually right now before I go to bed. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, nice. I keep looking at the microphone instead of the camera. I haven't memorized exactly what the camera angle looks like. You can like see me if I stand over here, can't you? This camera is amazing because it looks like it's lower than my head because it's like right here. But for some reason it's getting up to here or so, isn't it? That's just, that blows my mind. Anyway, good night.